Some filmmakers love nothing more than a rug pull death. Samuel L. Jackson getting chomped on by a shark, Julia Moore capped off early in Children of Men, and Matt Damon finally getting his comeuppance at the end of The Departed are all incredible moments of cinema because they come out of nowhere. But even more interesting and far more devastating are the unexpected deaths of characters who really, really matter. They land with a dull, brutal gut punch, knocking the wind out of you with bonus points for those films that do this just after giving us a reason to love the victim. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 devastating film deaths that came out of nowhere. Number 10, Tommy, The Shawshank Redemption. The reason seemingly minor character Tommy matters so much is because he's the key to Andy Dufresne's redemption. And just as we're coming to love Tommy for his resolution to help clear Andy's name, he makes the mistake of telling Warden Norton of his intention to testify Andy's innocence and he's brutally gunned down by twisted guard Byron Hadley. In a single brutal moment, you see Andy's redemption evaporate or so we think and an affable young man's life snuffed out. Number 9. Leslie, Bridge to Terabithia. Bridge to Terabithia was supposed to be another delightful children's fantasy movie about the escapism of imagination and a young friendship helping two lost souls find themselves. The book came out so long ago that it mostly preserved audiences of the devastating twist in its tale as one of the twin leads is killed off screen to the horror of Josh Hutchinson's Jess. What makes the death even more upsetting is that we see it from Jess's point of view as he feels guilty for leaving Leslie alone while he goes on a trip with his music teacher. In his absence, she tries to swing across the river and dies when the rope snaps and even though we don't see it, we damn well feel it. Number eight. Oh God, oh God, it's Thomas J and My Girl. Oh, oh no, no. Anyone seeing My Girl for the first time would have expected a coming of age story of navigating the charming pitfalls of adolescence with a side of gentle family conflict. Sure, there are some ideas in there that are a little bit more grown up, like experience with death and anxiety, but it mostly floats over harmlessly. Harmlessly, that is, right up until the moment her best friend and first kiss, Thomas J, played by Macaulay Culkin, tries to to retrieve her lost mood ring from the woods and is stung to death by bees, tearing her and our heart from our chest in one quick blow. Number 7, Quicksilver, Avengers Age of Ultron. Though there have been lots of world-ending threats in the MCU to date, the only real deaths have been limited to either villains or supporting characters. It's Disney after all, even with alien invasions, killer robots and nefarious capitalist pigs, so it's not like they're going to be particularly trigger happy. They would never allow a new character to die if it was going to rip his sister's heart in two and potentially cause her to implode or seek the love of a robo-Jesus type, would they? After teasing Hawkeye's dead meat status for almost two hours, Whedon had young Quicksilver save him but die in the process, sending a shockwave felt most profoundly by his sister, Scarlet Witch. Number 6. Zack Alpha Dog. The truish story of the kidnapping of Zack is an entertaining and harrowing portrait of teenage hedonism and bad decisions with a sting that leaves a particularly nasty taste. Throughout the film, we see Zack befriended by his kidnappers to the extent that they throw an actual party in his honor. It's like a coming of age teenage drama, right up until the exact moment Zack is taken to a gravesite by the paranoid Johnny, the reluctant Frankie, and the hired killer Elvis, who decide that they'll end up in jail if he ever tells anyone and shoot him to death with a machine gun. Number 5. Han Solo, Star Wars. The Force Awakens. Despite the fact that Harrison Ford notoriously insisted that his character was killed off during the original trilogy, the idea that Disney would willingly destroy one of the most popular brands in Star Wars seemed illogical. Sure, the old guard would have to be retired, but there was no way any character as cool as Han Solo would be unceremoniously murdered by his own son or anything. Han even seemed to be getting through to Ben, whose resolve softened right up to the point where he drives the lightsaber through his dad's body. So devastating and shocking was the death that it really pissed off some Star Wars fans. Not that that's overly difficult these days. Number four, Ophelia, Pan's Labyrinth. Guillermo del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth presents itself as a fairy tale, which obviously sets up expectations of happy endings. However, it ends up being one of those older, darker fairy tales before they were, you know, sanitized by Disney. Just as you think our hero Ophelia is going to complete her three tasks and gain her immortality, she's asked by the fawn to kill her younger brother to open the portal to the underworld, and when she refuses, she's killed by her evil stepfather, who takes back his son from her protection. Yes, he's killed too, and Ophelia does die smiling, but watching her die after everything she went through is a lot to take. Number 3. Ray, the Princess and the Frog. Disney's notorious shyness with on screen deaths changed in the excellent Princess and the Frog when Firefly Ray tells Tiana that the prince loves her, rescues Naveen, and steals the charm that's disguising evil Lawrence. He's basically on the path to being the film's real hero, but just as he vows to hold off a horde of demons so Tiana can escape, Dr. Facilia reminds everyone how fragile life is by stomping on him. It's a shocking and unnecessary death, but its impact is devastatingly effective, and it's easily one of the 
the most successful tear-jerking moments in Disney history. Number two, Wash, Serenity. As already established, Josh Whedon loves a dramatic, unexpected death, but killing off beloved character Hoban Wash Washburn was a step too far, and it's still a pretty major wound for fans. Wash had been a main character of Firefly and seemed fairly well protected by the fact he was the show's comic relief. The movie gives him a big hero moment too, saving the crew by crash landing safely after navigating a Reaver Alliance battle, but then robs him the chance of enjoying it by firing a Reaver harpoon through Serenity's windshield and, subsequently, his heart. Number 1, Professor X, Logan. Even in a post-annihilation event future where mutants are a dying breed or being persecuted once again, where Wolverine's healing factor is dull, child mutants are being experimented on and destroyed as medical waste, and Professor X has a debilitating neurological condition that is essentially killing him, the events of Logan are shockingly brutal. In particular, the death of Professor X lands a sledgehammer blow that is painfully effective. We go from Xavier sharing his delight at the day the film's heroic trio have just spent together and his remorse at accidentally killing the X-Men, to the X-24 clone stabbing him in the heart with his claws, in a twist that is even more brutal when you realise that he's just shared that moment with the wrong person entirely. And that's our list. Which other devastating movie deaths belong on this list? Share your suggestions below in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I've been Adam from WhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.